Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, uh, I am with the important questions uh, which will be asked from genetics session. Genetics as we all know, it's a very uh, small topic as far as undergraduates are concerned uh, because you need not know much about uh, the topics coming under genetics. Uh, but as per new curriculum, since uh, you are going to answer 100 mark question paper, you can expect much more questions than previously. Because last time when you answered uh, questions, uh, uh, question paper for 50 marks, then uh, you can get maximum say 5 mark question, uh, not more than that. But since now you are going to appear for a 100 mark question paper, you can expect more than 5 mark questions from genetics. That's the reason why I am here with the important questions from genetics. Again, uh, I am I have done a chapter on genetics in my embryology text essentials of human embryology uh, where uh, the important um, competencies as mentioned by MCI, I have gone through all those topics. I would like to mention some of the important topics from genetics now. Uh, you should be knowing about uh, the structure of chromosome and the different uh, how the chromosomes are classified the metacentric submetacentric acrocentric telocentric like that you should be knowing how the chromosomes are classified then you will be asked a short note about uh, uh, what do you mean by karyotyping and the technique of karyotyping uh, then one question asked was what are the applications of uh, this karyotyping sometimes application of uh, karyotyping in down syndrome turner syndrome like that you might be asked then what do you mean by Lyons hypothesis? Then coming to the modes of inheritance, you know uh, there are uh, autosomal dominant inheritance, autosomal recessive inheritance, uh, then you have sex linked inheritance. Uh, in the sex linked inheritance both X linked and Y linked. So you just uh, know the definition of these type of inheritance and uh, with the help of a flowchart like this uh, it will be easy for you to know uh, what do you mean by autosomal dominant uh, how it is transferred from parent to offspring. If you just focus on the single diagram if you are able to draw this diagram then it will be easy for you to uh, fetch more marks uh, when you are asked to write, write a short and, uh, and of course along with that you you just try to remember some of the clinical conditions associated with these type of inheritances. Then uh, one important type of inheritance is multifactorial inheritance. What do you mean by multifactorial inheritance and uh, what are the uh, recurrent risk in families that also you have to know and some of the uh, clinical conditions seen in multifactorial inheritance. And then short notes which are usually asked from this uh, genetics are uh, short note on achondroplasia, cystic fibrosis, what do you mean by vitamin D uh, resistant rickets, hemophilia, hemophilia is a very favorite question. Then Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, what is the genetic basis or uh, the question expected from these topics are what is the genetic basis uh, under uh, uh, in these clinical conditions. Then sickle cell anemia. So these are the uh, competencies expected from you according to the new curriculum. Then chromosomal aberrations. Uh, what are the two uh, main types of chromosomal? The structural and numerical chromosomal aberrations. You should be knowing uh, to subdivide this. That is in the numerical you know there are two types aneuploidy and polyploidy. Then what do you mean by monosomy? What do you mean by trisomy? You can expect short notes like that. Then coming to the structural uh, aberrations, uh, what do you mean by reciprocal translocation, what do you mean by Robertsonian translocation, uh, so uh, or uh, structural aberrations alone can be asked as a short note, then you have to uh, know the different types of structural aberrations or you can expect uh, short notes like what do you mean by reciprocal translocation, what do you mean by Robertsonian translocation, these are very favorite questions. Then what do you mean by ring chromosome, what do you mean by isochromosome? There, that also it's very uh, very uh, favorite question then what do you mean by mosaicism what do you mean by chimera so uh, these are again favorite questions so uh, when you are asked about a translocation you please uh, study uh, with the help of a diagram like what do you mean by uh, robertson uh, what do you mean by robertsonian translocation uh, what do you mean by 
uh, translocation alone, how will you um, depict a translocation like reciprocal translocation, how will you show with the help of a diagram. So if you just draw, draw one single diagram, uh, then even if you uh, haven't written much about it, if, if we see that diagram alone, uh, that means you have understood the concept of the translocation. So uh, please study these topics with the help of those diagrams. Then uh, some of the syndromes usually asked from the session are Kleinfelter syndrome, Pradavilli syndrome, Angelman syndrome. Pradavilli and Angelman syndrome, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, based on the paternal, paternally derived uh, region of chromosome and maternally derived region of chromosome. Uh, that uh, those two important concepts you need to know. And then Edward syndrome and Petavo syndrome, the trisomies, the different trisomies like trisomy 18 and trisomy 13. Uh, then what do you mean by polymorphism and what do you mean by mutation? So you should be knowing about the definition and some of the applied aspects. Uh, then uh, you should be knowing about Down syndrome in detail because Down syndrome every a very favorite question for most of the exams. Uh, then uh, also focus on uh, the newly emerging topic that is genetic counseling. So if you know at least these few topics Though few, uh, you, uh, if you if sometimes uh, for a hundred mark question paper, you can expect uh, say uh, ten or uh, fifteen marks questions from genetics. So please don't skip this portion uh, like before because uh, in our days uh, I have heard my friend saying don't. Uh, to spend more time on genetics because genetics first of all it's a bit hard to crack topic and uh, you have to sit for three or four hours and sometimes in the question paper you will end up without having any one single question from genetics but now the scenario has changed since you are going to appear for a hundred mark question paper so please don't dare to skip this topic as such and it is just uh, say 20 or 25 pages you can just go through the important topics and make sure that uh, you know at least five important points uh, from uh, each heading okay you just focus on each heading and make sure that uh, you can just say one two three four five points so that when it is asked you need not omit that uh, question that is my uh, advice to you please don't skip any questions Make sure that you attempt all the questions. That is the easiest way uh, to fetch more marks. One thing is it will create an impression for the evaluator that uh, you know something about everything. But if you are thorough with one question, even if you write 100 pages on that topic and if you are just skipping uh, say for five, four or five questions, that won't create an impression for the evaluator and that automatically will affect the marks which you are going to gain at the end of the answer script okay so please don't skip any question so from the genetics at least focus on these important topics okay i will be coming with uh, the remaining important questions from uh, thorax neuroanatomy upper limb and lower limb soon thank you thanks for watching